don't think he minds it to graze, but I don't think he wants to mean it to work. There. there you go. <laughs> okay. The one thing that we tried to do with the kids that was somewhat successful, but we're going to try to do it with you now, and it's going to be even way different to him. But what we're going to do is we're going to ask him to forward go through this space here. We're going to have him do it, and I'm sure by now he's probably like, Yeah, I get this. This is old hat to me. But that's not our main goal. That's not what we're going to end up trying to do. We're going to end up trying to start him right here and back him through. Okay? Yep. So go ahead and come here, and you're going to stand here and send him through. So, like, you're going to send him on a circle. So you're going to send him through. He's, like, already ready to do Oh, he hasn't seen it on this angle, so just let him look. It's the same thing he played with yesterday. He's like, yeah, 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 I get it now. Okay, so how would you send him through? Yeah. But, yep, I would change hands. Good. So how would you tell him not to keep it? There you go. I wouldn't have done it with that hand, because oh. your leading hand's the one that can send him the farthest. Yep. Yep. Good. So, I saw... I, I'm not sure, what, what were you specifically looking at when you were looking at him? What were you specifically looking at when you were sending him through there? No, but what, what were your eyes on? Okay, but what part of him? They were on his face? Did you see what his eyes were doing? Okay, so you were kind of watching his feet or maybe just the, his whole body go yeah. through? Okay, so his eyes had worry in them. His ears had slight worry in them. When their ears go out to the sides like that, it's worry. His are always like this, because he just kind of sometimes doesn't have a very <laughs> friendly look on his face, but he's not a mean horse. See, so that's normal for him. But if his ears kind of tip down on that angle, that's his way of saying, I'm worried about something. So his eye said, I'm not sure this looks different than it did yesterday to me. Okay, that's what his eyes said. He's not 100% sure this is awesome. So go ahead and stay where you are, and you make him go through again. Now, what did you watch that time? Right, what did his ears do? Right, what his ears did. If you watch exactly what his ears did, he went, and then his ears focused on the ends of these and they went as he went through they followed them right yeah. so that was his way of saying okay i don't think it's chasing me he's focused on this so i'm going to say you're gonna to have to go through one more time and chances are his ears and, and i will tell us that he's fine because we're going to try to back him through we can't back him through something he's afraid to go through forwards Yep, and his ears even came forward when he was coming through there. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to bring him around. Yep, you're going to come around with him too. 
you're going to get his tail facing in there, and you're going to try to back him between those. Now, we were unsuccessful with the kids doing it because we, he was learning everything that day. So hopefully today we'll be able to be successful getting him to back through. Now, what horses tell you when you try to get them to back up to something, it's not that he doesn't trust you. He doesn't believe you know that's back there. So he's going to try everything he can to go to point his tail everywhere but where you want it. going to pick up his back feet kind of funny because he's going to feel for that. See how he's like, you can tell he's kind of feeling for it. He's going, I think it's back there. So he's convinced that you don't know those are there. So what I would do is I would keep him there, not let him go forward at all. And I would ask his tail to come this way. So don't let him go forward because he's going to go forward because he definitely doesn't think you know. Okay. Now, see if you can Bye. See if you can ask him to back up. Yep, now he's going to probably back up to this side. Good. Good. Now, give him a break for a second. See how that one leg, that one leg said, oh, I think there's something back there. And then when, he, when you let him off the hook and didn't make him take that step, he was more than happy to put it back down in front of him. So he was starting to feel for something behind him. Okay. So what I would do is I would gently, don't let him go forward, I would gently ask his tail to go that way just a little bit. So when I say gently, it means you're going to give him just a tiny bit of support and try to get just a little bit of movement. So ask his tail to go that way. So you're asking him to back up first. Okay, he went, he did it anyway. Now see, he's getting ready to feel for it. So go ahead and ask him to back up. Good. Yep, yep. Good oh boy, good oh boy. Yep, yep. Good boy. Yeah, <laughs> now he's licking and chewing. He's going to check out both sides. Neither side had a biting viper on there. Good. Nope, no one on there either. Cool. So now send him out. And, huh? Yep. So. Um, no. It, they introduced him to the whole thing for the first time at all. Oh. So now we're asking him to do something much more advanced. So they they gave him his kindergarten class, and you're giving him a high school class. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they couldn't have gotten him to this point yeah, in the amount of time that they had. So he had time to soak on it. He had time to sleep on it and be like, okay, those things, those weird-looking things, they didn't kill me yesterday, so this is probably not going to kill me today, right? So he had time to kind of digest it. So go ahead and send him out and around. Yep, get his attention. Yep. 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 And then bring him back and back him through again. I bet you he'll even almost do it on his own now. So all you have to do is tell him where his tail needs to go and then tell him that he needs to back up. And I, I bet you he's going to be willing to do it all by himself. Yep, say, put your tail over there. Put your tail. Uh, no, you don't have to tell him. Yep, there, good, now. Up, oh, so again, he's still still saying, I don't think you know it's there. Yep, good, and now offer a little backup. Yep, yep, he's still convinced you don't know it's there. I would back him up quite a bit. He's getting much further away than you want him. Now you can lead. You can lead him over there if you want. Okay. Good. Get his tail going the right way. Good, now not, not anymore, not anymore. Yep, now start backing him up. Give him the idea what you want to do here. Yep, 
now direct his tail while you're backing him up. So he, he needs he doesn't he doesn't have a clue what you're trying to ask him to do right now and he's he yep, okay now tell his tail. It's okay. Yeah. Because now if you ask him to yield his tail, he's gonna go right into that. And then it will bite him. Yep. Now back. So see a trick like this is if we're really planning to back him up, once we start getting his tail facing the way we want, we have to tell him we have a plan. Because if we just keep doing this and keep doing this, he's not gonna understand there's a plan, so he's just gonna keep doing this and keep doing this. But if you if he gets his tail kind of facing the way you want, start to tell him, yeah, but we're gonna be backing up also, because then you can get all of that in his head, then you can steer his tail while he's backing up, okay? <laughs> so he's doing exactly what I just said he's going to keep doing, right? So what you want to do is you want to start telling him he has to back up, back, back. This is, involves backing up. And then you can tell his tail where to go while he's backing up. Back, 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 back. Tell his tail where you want it to go while he's backing up. When he goes past, good. Back, 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 back. Now he, now he knows. See? So he didn't believe. <laughs> that was hard, huh? So he didn't believe you had a plan. Okay? So to him, go ahead. To him, he thought you were just telling him to dance. Back, you know, okay, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm just going to keep doing this. But when he, when I, like before he started backing through, I knew he realized I had a plan, right? And then I said, oh, he's got it now? So I want you to get to the point to where you can see in advance that they understand you. So you're going to have to still steer his tail at first. There you go. Now back, 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 back. Steer his tail a little bit. Good. Back, back, back. No, don't turn. No. Yep. Keep going back. Back, 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 back. No, still a little. Still now a little bit, a little bit. Just get out on the side a little bit. Yep. There you go. Back. Yep. No. Nope. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. Good, good, good. Yep. Now back, 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 back. No, you don't have to get, you, you can kind of back him up oh, yeah. from beside him because oh, yeah. if you spend all the time trying to get back in front of him, you're going to you're gonna still keep doing this dance. Back, 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 back. Now get out there a little bit and steer his tail. Now start backing up. Back, 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 back. You don't have to get back in front of him, okay? So, look. If you're steering his tail and you want him to back too, back, back, back. See, I'm not in front of him. I don't have to stop and get back out in front of him. Because what's happening is you're saying, steer your tail. Okay, back. So we don't want to keep, you, you can back him up from right next to him. Back, back, back. Okay? Oh boy. Yep, 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 steer his tail, steer his tail toward the barn, steer his tail toward the barn. Okay, bring him forward before he hits the pole. Careful how much you give it there. Okay, yep, yep. Now get out there a little bit more. Get out there a little bit more. Not in front of him. Get out, yep. Now back, 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 back. Oh, now he's determined he's got an itch on the other. He's going to scratch every leg. There we go. Yep, yep. 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 
Block him from going. Yep. So we don't have to start way over here. You can get back in front of it and try from in front of it. Yeah. Stop him. So I know that you're not necessarily trying to challenge yourself, but you keep challenging yourself. Because if you turn him right here, you have a better shot at it, but you keep ending up stopping him there and getting ready to start way over there. Mm -hmm. So I would try to plan to be over here and try to start from here instead of start from way over there. When you want to challenge yourself, you can start in the barn if you want, but I don't think you want to challenge yourself yet. There you go. There you go. Tap him if you have to. There you go. Don't let him go forward. He's going to go forward. Back, 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 back. Mean it, mean it. Back, back. Good. Now tail, tail, tail. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't. Yep. Bring him up. One step, one step. So say step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Good, now, yep, good, that's nice. You, you need the other step, but I, I'm really happy that he did it, how it, exactly how he should, good, perfect. Now, tail, but be careful how much you turn it. Yep, he's thinking about it now. You see how his body's telling you he's thinking about it? So go ahead, yep, now, good, good, back, 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 yep, back. He'll straighten himself up now. Back, back. Uh, go, go, uh, yep. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Good. Good boy. Okay, so, if you get his tail moved, you don't need, you can do it, but just his tail. Don't tell him to back up yet. Nope. Yep. Tail. 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 Okay. 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 Back, 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 back. So, like, right away. Back. Yep. Back. Yep. Back. 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 Make sure he knows you want back. Make. Yep. There you go. Now. Now. Just keep going. Just keep. Now. Let him do it. Let him do it. Just keep asking him nicely. Let him do it. A little bit more. Now go over there and pet him because that was really hard for both of you. Tell him what a good boy he is, huh? Hey, okay. okay. all right. Your two waters are here, um, and I brought two different coats for you because I didn't know what you wanted. All right, I'll put them inside. What time should I pick her up? Um, seven will be okay. All right. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Looks like that horse is giving you a hug right back, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, now show me you know how to do something and do it again. Can I make you look here? Nah, you know what? I, the reason I wouldn't is why do you think you wouldn't? Um, just no. Just look look at the look at the things. What would make it maybe a disaster if you bring them through them this way? No. Well, it could. What what would happen? What would happen with the noodles if they grabbed one of his legs? Right, and then they would have resistance in them. Like he would feel. Like he's being blocked, right? So I wouldn't do it because they might tangle up in his legs and then they'd spin and whatever. So I wouldn't do it, but, um, you know, and then and maybe when he really, really doesn't care about them, it wouldn't be a big deal, but he's still kind of digesting them. Good. Good. Yep, back. Back, 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 back. Jump out and block him from coming this way. So you got to be quicker about telling him no, not not that much. Oh, 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 oh. But you're backing him past it. Step up. 
broken. Don't let him go back too. And now back. Now back. Yep. Now back. Now back. Back, 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 back. Yep. Mean it, mean it, mean it, mean it, mean it. So he's not getting the message. It's all right. Good. Back. Back. Just back. Yep, there. There. Now he's got it. Now he's got it. Now he's got it. Now, so be gentle about it because he's got it now. So just tell him what to do. Say, hey, I'm here with you. Good. 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 Let him go further, further. Let him always out of it. There you go. Good. Good. Good boy. Aw. All right. Your helmet. We could use zoning now. Do you want me to hold off that? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm doing Oh, sometimes you use the other one. What other one? Sometimes you just use the toy one. Like. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, bud. Sometimes he doesn't use what? He doesn't use the ball thingy. This thingy where it goes in his mouth. But nothing's in his mouth. Oh. It was an accident that that went in his mouth. Like that. Well, this is the one he always uses. Okay. Take him over and bring him on the mounting block. Yep, you should, yep. Let him, let him. Does it matter which side? Yep, you're right. You're up, you're doing the right way. Okay. So put the reins over his head and help his tail. How would you help his tail once his reins are over his head? No. Take that rein and bend his nose the other way and then say over. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Okay, now back, but now take both reins. Take take it so it's even. So it's even there. Now back. 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 Okay. Oh. Oh boy. Yep. All right. Okay. Yep. Good. Heels down. Yep. Do I need to shorten the stirrups? You think? They feel fine? Okay. Okay. Shoulders roll back instead of forward. There you go. Good. Yep. Over. There you go. Don't pull and tell him. Yeah. Now give him a happy hug with your legs. 
and now quit all of it and go neutral. Good. Yep. So let's work on some steering. So zig zigzag. Don't look down. You look down, you're going to end up on the ground. Zigzag in and out of all the obstacles that I've... You're going to use the barrel. You're going to use the mounting block. You're going to use this cone. You're going to use that pole. So zigzag in and out of everything that's in your way. Yep, don't lean. See how you're leaning like this? You stay straight in the horse. Stay straight in the saddle. Don't lean. You move your elbow. You don't lean in your body to make the turn. You, you move your arms. You're still leaning. You're still leaning. Roll your shoulders back, not forward. Roll your shoulders back, not forward. Can you can you go like this? There you go. So bring your rein like this, not out all the way out here. There you go. Yep. There you go. There you go. Now you look good. Don't bring your rein all the way out. Bring it. And do you do you feel your body when you're twisting in your your waist yeah, like to leaning this way? Okay, so when you're making the turn, you keep leaning towards your turn. You keep leaning towards your... I don't want you to. I want you to turn. Use your shoulders. There. Okay? Roll your shoulders back, not forward. There you go. Now stay dead center on the horse and use your arms to steer. Don't use your body. Don't lean. Don't lean. Don't lean. Turn your shoulders. There you go. See how that feels? Don't lean. Don't lean. Use your shoulders. There you go. Don't lean. Use your shoulders. There. There. Don't lean. Don't lean. You're bending in the waist. I know you feel that. I feel that. You're leaning. Stay dead centered. Ask him to keep going. Did I do that you today? What? To make him go? Yeah. No, you made him go. I'm just going to bring a little support into the arena. Circle that pole. Circle? Yep. Go around in a circle. Roll your shoulders back. Stop leaning in your turn. Put your heels down, not up. There you go. Your rein goes in your lap. It means it's too long. You were right. So you did that right. Keep going. arms. Your body has nothing to do with it. Go up and circle that barrel. Don't lean. Don't lean. Look where you're going. Look in advance where you're going. Look where you're going to go. Look where you're going to go. You're going to go this way. Look where you're going to go. Okay, so now get to this barrel. Go around this barrel from the barn side first. Good. Now, right now, start looking where you're going to go. You should be looking at me. Now you should be looking at that barrel. Now you should be looking at the barn. See what I'm saying? You look where you're trying to go. And you wanted to do a full circle. Put your heels down. Put your heels down. Put your heels down. Yep. Okay. Stay out on the reel for a second. Good. Look where you're trying to go. Good. 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 Much better. Good. Go around, do a circle around that cone. Yep, look where you're going to go. Look where you're going to go. Not down, look where you're going to go. You should be looking at me by now. There you go. 
Look where you're going to go. Don't look away from me. Now you need to be looking over there. There you go. Don't look down. Don't put your body in it. And now come out on the rail going the other way. So keep going. Don't lean forward. It's, it's in your seat. It's not in your shoulders. It's not in your upper body. Don't lean forward. Good. Right now you look good. Roll your shoulders back a little bit. There you go. Good. So do a change of direction by circling around that cone. So when you go around that cone, when you come back out, I want you to be going the other direction. I want you to go the other way. Look where you're going. Look where you're going. There you go. There you go. Now turn back the other way. Turn back the other way. Put your heels down. Don't lean forward. Quit looking down. Heels down. There you go. Good. Now let him have... Let him have a break with your hands, okay? Because you're, you're con you get a lot of feel on his face. I don't necessarily mean let him totally loose, but I mean uh -huh. just just don't, you know. Don't you don't like hang on his face. Don't keep a solid feel on his face. Only when you're turning, so that way he has some belief in that it's not so horrible. Because if you're just hanging on his face, that's not fair to him. Circle around that cone. Do a full circle around that cone. Don't look at the cone. Yep. Yep. Don't lean down. Don't lean down. There you go. Look where you're trying to go. Where are you trying to go? I didn't say change directions. I said go circle. Go back the way you were going. Don't lean forward. It's in your seat. It has nothing to do with your upper body. So you're going to raise yourself a little bit there. There. See, you're just like you're thinking about getting up. Like you're like, I'm going to, if I said, if I said right now, get your butt out of the saddle, what would you do? What's the, see how that feels? Like if you were about to get out of the saddle, okay, but you would go up, you wouldn't go leaning all over his face. Right. You're, but you don't even have to lean forward even that much. Okay. So try to, there. You're going to give him, Go energy, okay? You're not going to give him go energy. We don't want you to lean on him. Yep, but, and put your hands down a little bit. You're just going to put them slightly forward so they're not... So, okay, take a feel on his face, okay? Now, slightly forward to take that feel off. Not even that much. Okay? See, so you're not... You don't feel... You're not holding on to his face right now. So, take a feel on his face. Now, slightly off. That's a little even more there. Okay? Slightly off. So that's all you're gonna do. So in other words, if you're if you have a feel on his face, he's likely to believe you want him to stay standing still. If you take the feel slightly off his face, now he knows that he's allowed to go, and then you're gonna have all your other things are gonna tell him, yes, I do want to go, right? So then he'll likely go. But we don't want him if you lean forward, a really good horse, which is what he is, when you lean forward, he's probably gonna stop. And the reason he's gonna stop is because he's he wants to take care of his rider. And a horse that wants to take care of the rider is going to stop if they think their rider's off balance. Off balance would be leaning forward. Okay, so don't lean forward on him. Your foot a little bit far there. Now, heel down. So I would say your stroke's probably a little long. So. Oh, they are. Well, they're This one maybe needs to go up one? This one needs to go up one. This one. Okay. So these must be stirrup leathers I put on here. I don't know why. So I'll have to punch holes in it. So you're st you're stuck with what we got here. Okay. I'll have to put holes in it. Okay. Good. Okay. So they look even, actually. Oh, they do. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now give him a happy hug with your legs. Squeeze, 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 squeeze down by your heels. I want to see your heels kind of touch them. There you go. Yep. Good. And then take it all off. In other words, stop squeezing, stop doing anything else. Good. Roll your shoulders back. There you go. Are you on your balance point? 
So, now I want you to see if you can soften or relax right on your belt, the back, on your back, on your belt line, where your belt would go if you were wearing a belt. Soften your back enough to where you can feel him move you. That doesn't mean anything else needs to get sloppy. Your shoulders need to stay the same. I just want to, I want your waist, your belt line to seem a little softer so when he starts to move, you can feel him move you. Is he moving you, do you feel? Okay, so like, you should kind of feel like, like you can feel each of his back steps. Okay, that's what you always want to look for when you're riding, because if we ever rode bareback, you'd have to be so much on your balance point that he is riding, the, he's making the middle of your back move. And when the middle of your back moves, it means you're a part of him because there's much of you on him before your middle of your back. So you want to make sure that you're always riding him to where he's moving you, not where you're going against him. So like, okay, good. So now if we were to go a little faster, and it takes a minute to find it, but when you find it, you're going to be like, oh my God, that's so cool. Okay. So I'm going to ask him to go a little faster. Are you okay with that? Okay. Keep your focus on keeping him moving the middle of your back. Okay. So he's going to move the middle of your back. I'm going to kiss twice and tell him to move a little bit faster now. Okay. Keep him moving the middle. Keep your focus there. Okay. Keep your focus there. Oh, yeah, I feel it. Oh, if he bounces you, you're not on it. Now you're leaning forward. You're leaning forward. Okay, ho, ho, ho. Ho. Oh, you don't squeeze your legs when you want to ho. I'm sorry, little man. I didn't mean to scare you. You were too close to the fence. He does that. He's, I noticed he was trying to do that before. Oh, he was? Yeah. I thought I was. Not you, no. He, he's not, he doesn't just do it to you. He does it to the kids, too. What does it mean? He just, I don't know. Either he thinks he, maybe he could get you off by grabbing your leg onto the fence, maybe. I don't know if he's that calculated. It may just be a mistake that he does it. But he does do it. Okay. So, when you get going faster... Too bad that's wet. <laughs> um... Okay, imagine I'm you, okay? Now I'm on my balance point. I've checked it. I know I'm on my balance point. When I get going faster, I might need to sink more into my seat so he can move me. You want him to move you, okay? So, like, I'm, a, I'm glued to the saddle. So as he moves, I move, okay? As you get going faster, sometimes you have to rock back a little bit more to get him to move you better. So you might find you're going to have to rock, but you're not going to see how you just took a roll on your back. I don't want your back rolled. I want you sitting up straight. Okay? Your, your high knee can tuck without your back having to suddenly take this big uh, hump in it. So see if you can tuck your rump under you without your back humping. What? See if you can tuck your butt under you without your back humping. There you go. Right there. So as you get going faster, you may need to adjust even deeper. Yep, like that. Without your back getting sloppy. Okay? If you're bouncing, first of all, it's not good for him. Second of all, it means you're not on your balance point. So you are going to spend a little bit of time trying to find your balance point. When you find it, you will literally float. I'm not kidding. It'll feel like you're floating. Okay? So when you find it, you're going to think it's really cool. But we got to try to find it. And when you, how I mean you're going to find it, I guarantee you if you rock forward... You're not going to find it. I guarantee you 100%. If you rock forward, you will not find it. You will need to rock more back and start, tr like, trying to curl your butt under you, okay, to find it, okay? So ready? Now you got sloppy with your shoulders again. There you go. So tell me when you start to feel him under you now as, at this speed. When you feel like he's moving you, when you feel like you're actually a part of his body at this speed, you tell me when you think you're there. Yeah. 
So if he's kind of jerking you, I'm going to say that by being able to jerk you, he's probably, I mean, he's, he's, his stifles bothering him a little bit, I think, but his, one of his legs bothers him a little bit. I think it's because it's raining. Maybe it's the damp is making it bother him a little bit. Okay. Do you, do you feel him making you move? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go a little faster now. Okay. okay. So ready? You tell me you're ready and then we'll do it. I'm not going to do it until you're ready. Don't pull on him. He's not, his face is definitely not used for your balance. You're going to find your balance in your butt, not in his face. Let me know when you're ready and then we'll, I'm, I'm just waiting on you. Okay, ready? Don't go getting all squeezing on him. You're already prepared to have to hold on with your legs. Don't squeeze on him. Lean back, not forward. You'll find it if you lean back, not forward. There it is. Okay, now stop. Okay, you immediately went toes pointed down and you got in this fetal thing. You leaned way forward, your legs came up and your toes pointed down. Total opposite of what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm looking for your heels down, your legs soft. Sit on your butt and find his pace with your butt. You're going to find it with your butt and you're going to feel it in your belt line and you're going to, the only way you're going to find it is by adjusting how you're sitting. Okay? If he bounces you, you're not there. Leaning forward will not find it. Okay? Pointing your feet to the ground and bringing your knees up to your chin will not find it. Okay? Ready? Don't lean forward. It's only about pretending like you're climbing out of your seat. You don't even need that much rain forward. Just take this tension off the lines. That's it. When you feel him and you think you can go, we'll go. But I want you to find it. I want you to feel like you're kind of there already before we get started. I can feel him walking. Okay. So now, stay looking for that feeling. It's just going to feel faster. Okay, ready? Stay looking for that feeling. Looking for that feeling. It's in your butt. There you go. You got it. How's that feel? It felt good. It felt like you're floating, right? Yeah. Okay. Right, right. It felt like you were the saddle. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you want to try to find. Every time, all the time. Okay. There's going to be times that they'll take a funny step and they'll get you bouncing again. Right away, go, oh, I'm, not, I'm bouncing, I'm not on my balance point. If you're bouncing, you're not on your balance point, okay? Immediately look for it. Like, Hunter's really hard to find that spot because Hunter's really bouncy because he's got tiny little legs. So you have to really, like, look for it on him. Him, he's easy to find it on, okay, because he's a Tennessee walker. So he's not actually trotting. He has a lateral move. These two legs on this side move at the same time. We're on a regular horse, it's a four beat. Okay? Yeah, so That's called a running walk, what we're doing right now, what we're trying to do. Okay? You running, Yeah, he doesn't actually well he does trot, but he doesn't he trots on his own. He doesn't trot with a saddle on him. I have to teach him. I taught Ritz how to do it. Because Ritz doesn't do that anymore. The the gated stuff, the running walk, he doesn't he does it on his own out there, but he won't do it under saddle. Uh, I don't like it to because I want to use him as a regular horse. Okay. <laughs> no, Ritz. Um, so this is what he's this is what he's born to do. This is this is his genetics teach him have him doing this. Ritz is do also, but I spent a lot of time with him when he was a baby, and I taught him how to trot. When I saw he knew how to move his legs in a specific beat, then I was able to encourage that and kind of not ever exercise what he knows how to do or what naturally he would do him he naturally does it and he doesn't trot naturally and i haven't worked with him to i know he can trot because i've seen him but i know what he needs to do and i can't do that with a with a young rider on him he needs to have his head down to his knees his nose needs to be down to his knees and then he can trot so like, so like, then right 
No, his head, his head will have to lower all the way down to his knees in order for him to be able to trot. And then I can teach him gradually how to, like kind of like how I'm teaching you how to feel. Yeah. I can teach him how, how to remember how that feels and then get him to start picking his head up too. But I haven't been, you know, I haven't, I'm not training him, but I, and I like that the lateral is good for you guys when you're learning. So it's good that he doesn't trot because you would be bouncing a lot more and it'd yeah. be a lot harder to find That's your balance. Yeah, real, real bouncy, right? Yeah. It's harder to find a good spot on them. When With him, he'll help you learn it, and then you'll be able to do it on any horse, but he'll help you learn it better than any.